You know, I like the immediacy of the theater. Uh, there's, there's nothing better than being able to um, be in a space with an audience, whether it's 100 people or 1,100 people, and sort of share and to be able to hear and gauge the reaction of an audience right there. I think that's the thing that I miss most about uh, not being in the theater, but I was fortunate enough to go back to the theater just last year. I did a play in Los Angeles. Um, you know, coming, from, making the transition into into acting for the camera was tough for me, and I still feel like, which which keeps me motivated. I still feel like I'm learning how to how to perform for the camera because it's such a different way of working. Uh, but what I what I have learned, it's like it's, a, it's sort of like when you learn a new language. What the story, the way you can tell a story with the camera is so unique. Um, I always say that when, you, when you're in the theater and you're in seat, row J, seat 35, that's your relation to the, to the, to the stage for the, entire, for the entire show. It doesn't get any closer, it doesn't get any far, further away. And it, and it really depends on the power of whatever it is you're watching to, to envelop you. What you can do with the camera is I can be as far away, I can, I can be a mile away from the, from, from our scene. I can show you the house where the characters live. I can come closer and we can look in the window. Or if I want, I can have you sitting right next to and looking eye to eye to the actor. And the, the ability to tell the story from as close or as far away as you can is, is amazing. Um, you, you know, so that's, that's the thing I had learned and have learned to appreciate about uh, acting for the camera.